What is going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. Today we're going to talk about iOS 13, uh, the latest update from Apple coming out in the fall. I have it here in beta, so uh, let me start the screen recording so that you guys can see my screen. And it's starting in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so let's do it. So this is the home screen uh, that you see here. Uh, currently, I have the default wallpaper, I have dark mode. So I want to talk about um, some of the, you know, the, the, the basic features that are accessibility related. So this year we get dark mode, we get a new Siri voice with, uh, that's also usable with voiceover. Uh, we get uh, voice control that is basically you can control the phone, go to settings or open different menus with voice control. You can do um, some new typing gestures with voiceover, so I'm going to cover all that now. Okay, so the first thing is the accessibility shortcut. I have it open right now, and this is dark mode. You see that there's there's a space between each button, so now it's easier to, to tap each button. Now, why is this this way? I, I feel like there's a new uh, material design update with um, iOS, which is kind of nice. And, you know, you'll, you'll be able to tell the difference in voiceover and everything. So let me turn voiceover on. Voiceover on. FaceTime. Double tap to open. Portrait. So this is the voice, the Siri voice. FaceTime. Double tap to open. When you first update, you do not get this voice. You'll get the normal voice, and you can manually change it in settings, accessibility, and, you know, speech and selective voice. Um, now, another thing. TV. Settings. One new item. This is dark mode. Search. Search field. Double tap to This is dark mode, you know, with accessibility with a uh, iOS 13. And uh, now Bluetooth. Um, button. Do, do not disturb. Search. Just button. accessibility. Button. So there you go. Now you get accessibility um, in your main settings page. So you scroll down. So you see General. Button. control set display and accessibility. Button. Right under display and brightness, you get accessibility. This is awesome. I'm so happy this exists because now you don't have to go into general. Okay, so dark mode looks really good. It's easy on the eyes, um, as you can already tell. Not much I can really talk about. I'll, I'll talk about dark mode at the end. So there is some bugs with voiceover, such as right now uh, accessibility is selected, but I want to hit the volume key. Search. Search field. Tap to it goes to the top of the search, list to search the search field. button. Tap to when it goes to the top to the search button, that's a, a bug. So don't update to iOS 13 until we're a couple betas in and it's kind of stable. Right now it's very unstable. It's the first beta. Okay. Um, now, the next thing I want to talk about is oh, the typing gestures with voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up a keyboard here. Page one of three. Search. Text field. Double tap. Eight items found. Top search result. Settings. Okay, so, uh, there's, you know how there's touch typing, standard typing, well, now there's something that's, that is, uh, an another element of touch typing, which, here we go, let's find it. Edit, typing mode, standard typing, touch typing, direct touch typing. There you go, direct touch typing. Why is this better? See, touch typing, you, once you let go of your finger, you're tapping the key, and sometimes you can misfire by typing, you know, by hitting the wrong key, you're letting go too soon or too late. So now with direct touch typing, this is how it works. H, hotel, E, J, H, A, H, 22, delete, H, 52, I, E, R, E, echo, E, L, L, O, O, 34, space, Y, Yankee, Y, O, O, Y, Yankee, U, U, five items, R, T, five, five items found. Top search results. Five, five items found. B, J, U, uniform, five, five, space, B, rock, B, five items, E, echo, five items found. Text field is editing. Hell yeah, two. Insertion point at end. I mean, it was close enough, but there we go. And now let's try the same thing with normal Clear text, touch typing. Button. Clear tap, J, actions, T, tango, edit, typing mode, standard typing, touch typing, H, H, fit, E, E, L, 30, L, L, O, O, Space. Ten items found. U. Y. Y. Nine items found. 
H I India I See, I miss fire. Search. Delete 22 items found. P P delete P O O 9 items found. O U U 20 T U U 5 items found. B Bravo B 13 items found. Top search was R E E So there you go. 11:49 a.m. Text field is editing. Hello YouTube. Insertion point at end. So, you know, it, I mean, I didn't mistype this time, but I did have to delete letters because I did, you know, let go uh, a little too late or a little too soon. You know, you have to time it just right. So, Clear text. Um, Clear text. perhaps Clear text. the uh, new typing I, method. I edit. Select all. Typing mode. Direct touch typing. So perhaps, you know, direct touch typing is kind of going to uh, be there for, you know, when you don't want to switch directly to touch typing yet, but you want to do some touch typing, you know, that's a method uh, of typing. You know, you can secure your, your letters if you're like a slower typer. You know, it, it, it works nicely. So, you have two methods of touch typing now. Delete. Eight items found. Top search result. Now, Settings. what's the advantage versus, you know, with touch typing, you have to like select the key and then and tap. And select the key, tap with... Um, direct touch typing, it, you know, if you want to type fast, it'll look like this. A B, Bravo, J B, F H H W A R E E F L L F L O O G nine items found Y Yank Y six I I India I five I delete I six items found P O Oscar Y U uniform five T Tango I T five U E N B E E five clear text button text field is editing. Hello you are insertion point at end. So I'm not completely used to this method yet, but once you figure out how to use it, I feel like it's a little more efficient. You know, it just depends on your style. But at least now we have another option of typing, which is nice. Four percent clear text button clear text. Now um, the next finding I found with accessibility, this isn't a feature, this is actually a bug that I, I, I mean to show. This is why you shouldn't update to this uh, when it's in beta. This is a test device. Double tap to podcasts. Double tap to open. Um, this is a test device in the iPhone SE that I'm doing this on because I don't want to use my normal, my uh, daily driver device for this. So I'm going to open up the App Store and you see that VoiceOver actually crashes the App Store in this beta. Hopefully they fixed it in the next beta. Um, I submitted a bug report, and, and if you're running a beta on a, on a you know another device, submit betas, you know, submit reports with accessibility glitches, please. That way we can get these glitches eliminated. App Store, App Store, double tap. App Store, selected tab. What Boom! Store, tap it crashed. Button. The reason why I'm very enthusiastic, why I'm so enthusiastic about. Um, you know, testing these betas and trying to get all the glitches. I want, I want the, the the people who use VoiceOver on a daily basis, like 100%. I use it like 20% of during my day. But people who are totally blind, I, you know, I want you know you guys to be able to to use this firmware, you know, as a beta on your daily driver, uh, you know, as soon as it's stable, so that you know you can you know submit other bugs that I may not catch because I don't use it all the time, you know. I use it 20% of my day. Um, you know, this is a bug where you press the volume button and the voiceover cursor will go to the top of the screen. These things I'm catching because I'm, I'm, I'm finding all the holes in voiceover on purpose, you know, to send it to Apple. But, you know, once we have actual users using this, um, using this and, you know, finding the actual bugs, then that's perfect. Um, that's what we want. We want to try to, to you know, make this firmware as clean as possible, take advantage of the fact that they're accepting bug reports now. Okay, um, now the labeling process for labeling stuff is still available. Screen T-Mobile, status bar item. Swipe down with three fingers to reveal notification. Oh. You know, this has been available. Um, I'm actually surprised that this is available still because, you know, th this is a labeling element so you can still label stuff. Text field. Is that it? Cancel. Button. Oh, another thing I want to talk about. Talk. Safari, text field, so, button, format options, button. I'm in an empty page on purpose. I want you guys to hear this. You know, on your phone, when you hear the ding, 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 like when there's nothing that it can read, um, it means that it's tracking on a general point. So the voiceover cursor is less precise on an empty screen. Um, now, format it's actually, options, it's checking for an element a lot sooner. 
which tells me that um, you know uh, it's, it'll be easier to track smaller buttons first of all uh, and also uh, you know the precision when it comes to touch gestures are a lot better with voiceover now listen to the sound when I move my finger on top of the screen on an empty page way faster instead of going and when you want to used to do that you that was the noise that it made when you move your finger across the screen I'm moving it a little bit I'm moving it inches to make that slow sound but if I just barely move it that means that it's actually searching for uh, the voiceover curse is actually trying to search a lot sooner and finding smaller points so which which is nice so there's like a microscopic button and, and you, you know you're doing explore uh, I think it's uh, explore by search or search by explore I forget the name of this feature we just move your finger around um, you know uh, search by explore I think it is <sighs> whatever uh, basically you know when you move your finger around the screen you can now find things that are a lot more pre precise uh, which is cool uh, and there's another glitch Huh, I gotta submit that too. I gotta find what that's about. So now it's saying possibly right arrow. So that's another cool, you know, thing that it, it's it's got a lot. It's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of other little things that we still have to discover. I'm I'm gonna keep playing with it throughout the betas, finding out the new stuff. This is beta one. So. Address healthrates.com. Dump 11:56 a.m. Status T-Mobile. Status bar item. Now here's the thing with the voiceover cursor. If I have my finger on top of the screen. So you actually you actually have to uh swipe up with three fingers to reveal the control center. Okay. Stop talking. All right, there we go. Format options. Button. Show web page options. So stop talking. Okay. So uh you know, you actually get a little more precise um tapping on when you're around stuff like the battery icon. No you no longer just put your finger on the top right and find it. You know, the voiceover cursor is a lot smaller, so you have to like you know uh, find the time or find you know like put your finger on it closely so explore by touch that's the name um, is actually not as fun as it used to be it's not as easy so Apple if you're listening perhaps give us the opportunity to change this the pointer size of our voiceover cursor um, in normal non programmer terms it means that give us the option to change the sensitivity on how quickly we can find stuff with voiceover you know give us a limit like you know normal or extended or I don't know you know don't give us value specific because then you know you can mess voiceover up but at least you know uh, you know standard uh, enhanced for the voiceover cursor and in the current version right now that would be enhanced and then the normal one like that you know that would be standard so that we can choose like the sensitivity of a voiceover cursor that'd be nice um, you know, that's that. That's that's uh, that's the voiceover.